Tonight, family and friends of inmates held inside of Georgia's prison system rallied at the state capitol. They're protesting conditions inside the Department of Corrections. Investigative reporter Zach Merchant was there when it all took place. He's joining us now live from the state capitol. Zach? Today's rally happened just a week after our investigation revealed widespread safety failures across the Georgia Department of Corrections. The demonstrators who gathered today under the Georgia State House's Gold Dome said they were here to make sure lawmakers were paying attention. We're here to lend our voice and, and help those that's behind the walls that need our help. About 20 people joined Brian Randolph, director of a prisoner advocacy group, at a state house rally calling for better conditions inside a Georgia correction system they say is understaffed and plagued with violence. Starting a new year and it's already, you know, past crisis level. Uh, murders, suicides, um, gang violence through the roof. A recent 11 Alive investigation revealed state data showing that from 2021 to 2023, there were more than 3,500 assaults between inmates and nearly 100 homicides. To Laura Pirtle, who says she has family currently incarcerated, that does not come as a surprise. They're fearful. Even the officers are afraid of the inmates. You know, it's, there's drugs, there's weapons, there's everything in the prison. At the same time, prison guard levels were plummeting, falling by more than 60 percent from 2012 to 2022, leaving families of detainees alarmed. The prisons are understaffed and you don't have no workers to work in them, call the National Guard. That's what they're there for. Get the National Guard to come in and clean them up. To Randolph, it doesn't matter what an inmate is convicted of. Georgia's current prison conditions are untenable. They are sentenced to those facilities, but at the same time, you know, they're not sentenced to a death sentence. The demonstrators today are asking lawmakers to address those problems before the legislative session ends next month. Live at the Capitol, Zach Merchant. 11 Alive News.